Hi and welcome. In this video, you will learn how to load sample datasets from Scikit-Learn library in Python. You will be able to load a pre-existing sample dataset. Often, you don't want to do the work of loading, transforming, and cleaning the actual data set before exploring machine learning algorithms and methods. Fortunately, Scikit-Learn comes with some popular datasets that load quickly. These datasets are often referred to as toy datasets because they are much smaller and cleaner than those found in the real world. Typical Scikit-Learn sample datasets are, first, load underscore Boston. It contains 503 observations about housing prices in Boston. This is a good dataset to explore regression algorithms. Second, load underscore iris. It contains 150 observations on iris flower measurements. It is a suitable dataset for studying classification algorithms. Third, load underscore digits. It includes 1,797 observations of images of handwritten digits. This is a good data set for teaching image classification. Let's now go to practice. First, we need to import the NumPy library. Then we will import the module datasets from the Scikit-Learn library. For example, to import the housing prices dataset, we simply write this. We can display the housing variable by writing its name, like this. As you see, the variable contains data about houses characteristics. In addition to the target variable, here, which is the price. Here is the name of the features of this dataset. As you notice here, it is not easy to use this variable in this format with machine learning. It is easier to transform it into a pandas data frame. First, we need to import the pandas library. To convert the housing dataset into a pandas data frame, we use the function data frame. As you see the data is now organized in a data frame, with many features about the houses. But we are not finished yet, we need to add the target variable, which the prices of the houses, into a new column of this data frame. To add the target column, we use the attribute target, like this code. We can display the data frame to confirm the addition of the price column. As you see here, the price column was added at the end of this data frame. Now the dataset is ready, and it can be used easily with machine learning. And the same procedure can be used with the other sample datasets in the Scikit-Learn library. With this, we finished the video, where you learned how to load sample datasets from Scikit-Learn library in Python. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I hope that was helpful.